All my life I knew I was destined to speak. I was someone who always led from the front and had the ability to influence and teach other people how to win. We all know that negative choices aren't entirely our fault. The circumstances and the environment that we were brought up in can have a major influence in our decision making. Aristotle, the ancient Greek philosopher and scientist once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. I understand that change will always be with us because ever since that asteroid hit the earth 65 million years ago and wiped out the dinosaurs, change will always happen. Take your working environment for example. What if I could help you and your staff to understand the steps of emotional change that we go through, then gain the knowledge and training to resolve problems much faster, saving that important bottom line. It's almost like it's almost like black ice. Who's ever driven over black ice? Hands up, please. Okay. It's not nice, is it? Yeah. Did you have the squeaky bum moment? <laughs> yeah. It's not nice. Do you often think to yourself or tell your colleagues that you may be having a bad day? But when I left hospital, after nearly six months, I focused on what I could do and didn't worry about what I couldn't do because that wasn't going to change. My disability was always going to be what it was going to be. What if I could show you a method that would allow you to evaluate situations quickly and determine if you really are having a bad day? Through the misfortune of my near fatal paragliding crash in May 2009, I know if I apply the key psychological principles that have served me all my life to become successful, then I could teach others to create a lasting change in their lives to learn how to inspire themselves by thinking logically, not emotionally. Almost every human being goes through similar emotions at a cellular level when change happens. So educating people with my keynote presentations to help them understand these emotions that I've experienced, then I can take people from shock through confusion to accept the situation and have hope and enthusiasm plus the confidence to move on with true courage. In most business decisions, there is a history link to blame if it all goes wrong, however, if you train your staff to embrace circumstances that may have a curveball or two attached, then you can replace them with empowering ones to make a profound shift in their life and performance. I have certainly learned that before you can move others into action, you must first understand what drives them, including their needs, fears, values and the rules they live by. As an international speaker who has helped many global brands work through change, what I do is to teach people to embrace these transformational steps and once they have mastered this process, they can then apply them to influence and inspire other people, both personally and professionally. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. Is the process to the top easy? Hell no. Is it possible? Absolutely. Because for a man to conquer himself is the first and noblest of all victories. In August 2012, he's about to become a Paralympic gold medalist. Look at it fly. It might, he might not even reach it. Yes, it will, just about. He won't catch him in three kilometers. The bell has gone for the last lap. Yeah, the coach has given up on telling what schedule he's on. He's just pointed at the Chinese rider. Go and catch him. I know the part I played in London 2012 was essential as one of the elite. As my success had a positive impact on millions of people and many businesses also. Because success doesn't happen until you decide to change and have belief not only in the process, but most importantly, belief in yourself doing the process. Because like my dad said, those feelings, emotions, decisions, that's what you take with you to the grave. 
When I retired from professional cycling, I wanted to share with other people just how they could embrace compromise, gain motivation, use marginal gains to win with mindset, plus, irrespective of the outcome, simply be the best they could be. Because what I'd like Victoria to do is just, just hold the medal. That's it, okay? Can we just lock the doors? Because I can't chase after her, okay? If she does do a runner, okay? Having worked with some of the best leaders in sport, I now share my passion on stage, teaching others how to become someone who does not force action, but rather empowers other people to overcome circumstances to win. Hello, my name's Laurie Bell, and I'm one of the directors at Wiltshire Council. We booked uh, Mark Colburn this evening to be part of our awards evening for an annual gala dinner with all the businesses across Wiltshire. Um, Mark was incredibly inspiring, an amazing talk all about how you manage change and how you achieve your goals. Would we book him again? Without a doubt. In fact, we've had him three times already and he'll be back for more. Winners are not born, they are made. The winning skill I teach is to focus on the process, not the outcome. And this helps everyone to become a winner if they embrace change and learn to know how they can make a difference. So if you really want to impact on your bottom line and create that lasting change in your business to win with mindset, then allow me to train your people with my key messages to success and let us start your training today by you booking me for your next event.